Hello and welcome friends to the SMS animation channel. Today we are going to create a first aid box or you can say a medical kit in Blender which is going to be a very easy modeling but this tip will really really going to be work for you in your future modeling. So stay till the end and watch it properly and try to make something beautiful with the help of this. So first of all, I am going to select everything into the scene, which is camera, light and Q. Press A and select everything, then press X and delete everything. Now, just create a one cube again, mesh and I am just going to create a cube. Then just jump into the front view and then G and Z. Take a cube above the grid. Okay, now let's make a scale. So you can scale according to the cursor so you can make change from over here so i am just going to make a scale according to the cursor so cursor will be the anchor point for my cube now so if i am going to make a scale into the y axis so you can see that it should be remain onto the grid it's not going down so let's jump onto the top view and see yes it's little bit bigger so let's make it a little bit down s and y almost like this one okay so it's good now i want to make it a little bit more on uh, bigger into the x-axis so place s and x and then scale it into the x-axis so it's good enough now what i want to do just jump into the edit mode and before jumping into the edit mode first of all place ctrl a and apply the scale which we have generated so if we are going to apply any kind of look cut or inset it will give us a proper result after applying the new scale onto the our object so now let's jump into the edit mode and let's apply the select the face then make the inside over here or before making the inside let's make it g and z to down little bit let's go ahead and see what happening again uh, let me place a one yes it's going good now now what we will do we are just going to make an inset on this so yes it is going good let's talk jump into the top view let's make it a scale down a little bit more okay it's good now what i will do i will just place a g and z to take it up now this is up to you how you want to go ahead so what i will do i will just select the faces again you can press alt and these faces and let's make it i insert again or you can apply the look cut also so let's apply the look cut over here almost like this okay done and then select these faces and control plus okay only the not control plus just make a control minus and bring the just single this face and press g and z and take it little bit up okay it's going good at present is nice it's awesome and it's good now what we have to do we want to just give some kind of loops over here so let me apply some loop over here leave it control b and let me apply loop on this area good and i am applying the loop over here control b and let me apply the loop over here also good and then control r again over here and control b and take a loop on this side okay here we are not going to make that kind of loop but let's apply control r and move it like this one and then press e so it's getting properly over there and now just notice the value of that distance which is a okay so we are going to select it and bless pressure 8 over here okay it's good same thing we are going to apply over here so let's apply the control r and come over here okay it's going good now and let's apply the value over here also so let's apply 8 the same which we have applied on the other side okay it's good same we have to do with this side so let's apply the loop cut and jump over here let's e okay good and you can leave it like this one and here we also applying the 8 value over here okay let's a little bit more so let's do the 9 okay let's apply the 8 5 okay it's good 0.85 is good yes nice now same thing we have to apply on this side so let's press e and f and coming over here and the same value we have to apply over here that is 8.5 again okay that's good 
so we have almost applied the loop curves everywhere now what i want to do i want to just make something apply on subdivision surface on this one so let's apply the subdivision surface okay we are getting the good result you can see that over here now let's right click and make a shade smooth over here and jump onto the object data mode go, go into the normals and apply the auto smooth from over here also so now you can see that it's look good but still we can make it more better we are just increasing the value over here so now you can see that it's looking really nice and beautiful and amazing so at present we are just the halfway of our first aid box or you can say medical kit sci-fi medical kit so now what i want to do i want to generate some kind of button over here which can be placed and open the box so for that what i will do i will just jump into the edit mode and here what you can do you can hide this one so in object mode you can see the final output but in edit mode you can found the original mesh over here so it will be very without the subdivision surface so it will be very useful for us to modeling our model so let's apply the control r again over here and leave it and then place the control b let's make a little bit bigger over there then again apply the loop cut inside then and place the control b over here okay so let's make a little bit lesser than over here yes good then i'm going to center and applying the loop cut over here okay good so now what i want to do i want to just delete in between the portion over there but before that <coughs> select the faces over here okay control z and control and shift over here and okay we need to apply one more loop to create that button so i'm just going to apply one more loop over here let's make it a little bit bigger okay good now i am just going to select these faces okay one more need support i need over here so i'm just going to apply one more loop over here almost like this okay good so now what we have to do we are just going to select these faces three and okay control and shift over here then shift and shift okay then press alt and e and extrude faces along normal so we have to take it inside okay as much you required per your model and then you, uh, you can click onto the offset even so it will be offset evenly yes nice and looking amazing let's see over here yes it's good now what we want to do you can apply the loops over there but before that what i will do i will just selecting these faces control and shift and then shift this one and this one okay you can see that okay then press shift and d leave it p and selection make it difference tab now select this again and come over here let's press a okay first of all what i will do i will just selecting and making hide now select this and come over here now what we need we have some weird loop over here you can see that so we have to manage first that so let's apply the loop cut on this one area so we can get the proper shape leave it like this one and then control b to get a proper shape over there okay now you can see that we have the better shape now now let's apply some more loop cuts to get it in better way so let's apply the loop over here okay it's going good let's take a little bit more closer nice okay it's going good you can see that it's performing nicely same thing we want to apply over here into the bottom part of this so let's apply the loop cut over here and leave it and then apply control b okay so now you can see that it's also going good and nice let's come over here and let's apply the loop cut over here take it a little bit on this side good one more loop cut over here and this side now you can see that it's going good and nice we need to give supports a little bit over here so i'm just control z again press control r we need to loop a cut over here okay let's see that okay it's good enough or oh, let's make it undo first okay let's apply the loop cut outside of the body over here almost like this same over here <coughs> okay nice and one more inside over here good 
so you can see that it's looking really nice and amazing and beautiful so still we have some kind of weirdness over here so we have to manage that so let's apply the look cut on this area okay so now it's good enough better okay and one more two more loop cuts over here so control b and let's drag it a little bit like this one so now you can see that it's look really amazing and properly managed proper bevel on the side we didn't apply any kind of bevel things because normally bevel creates some kind of angons and uh, weird kind of geometry or polygons on our model so now if you can see that it's looking really amazing and we have maintained our quads on our geometry so now it's good now what we need we want to create a button over here so for that what i will do i, I will, what we have hide alt and h and make it reveal so that cube is reveal and let's select this option okay now it is revealed let's select that option jump over here press a and then what we can do we can apply a loops on this first of all so let's do something applying the loop so i'm just selecting over here control b and let's take a loop inside over here almost like this okay then let's apply the loop on this area okay good and control b again so take it like something like this one so it can be better for us then take a loop again on this side almost like over here same loop over here we have to apply so i'm just going to apply the loop something like over here also good enough and then let's apply the loop one more loop sorry control z control r and let's apply the loop over here on this side also little bit something like that okay good now let's select the a and all e extrude faces along normal so we are just getting it little bit up not whole but you can take it little bit more up if you require but i hope yes we are just getting little bit outside not more but little bit outside only let's click on that you can see that it's looking good enough now what we have to do you have to just click on offset even done then place output so you can see that we are getting almost kind of button is ready now we just going to take a little bit outside of this option so what we will do we are just going to select these faces let's press 3 and let's select these faces okay and then let's move g okay so now you can see that it's look amazing you can use this as per your work you can create your button on your way but it's looking amazing for my side which i required now i want to create some kind of buttons or lights over there so what we can do let's press over here okay uh, let's select this one and press over here tab and we want to create something over so let's select the face over here and press i to insert okay is going good then what i will do i want to delete this face so what we will do press x and delete the face okay so it's good now press 2 and select this loop and then e and extrude a little bit into the z axis okay is good and then what we can do we can press the f to fill it again so yes we can extrude it also again so uh, it's not required to do like that you can directly extrude or something like that one and then what you can do you can just select the outside faces or you can duplicate this so let me jump over here and you can see that it's looking a little bit weird so for that what we can do we are just placing the control r the loop cut over here and leave it and control b and let's make it little bit something like this one okay good and then we have to apply some loop cut on this one to maintain the edges so what i will do i will just taking the edge or leave it and control b over here so you can see that is creating a, some kind of weird loop cut so let's undo this one first apply the control r take a loop cut according to on this side press e and then f so it will be properly gone on this side take a little bit on this slide okay done same thing we have to apply on this so let's apply over here then press f e and f okay e is good one not f okay so it's going good let's take it a little bit more in done so now you can see that it's getting the shape still we have to apply two more loop cuts on this side so i'm just going to press e and f again 
so it will get the nearest loop shape okay take it laser done same we want to apply the loop cut over here drag it like that press e and f so it will get a better shape okay done now let's see that so we have the proper base over there where, where we can create our button to get the better output so for that what i will do i will just create a shape over here and i will put one just make a select this face shift d p selection then tab select that option tab again and what we can do we are just going to make select that e and extrude a little bit up little bit more up okay let's see that how much is going up yes it's going good let's make it a little bit down not that much up we required we need yes like that and then make s okay first of all what you select a tab select the object object set origin origin to geometry now good let's select that object again tab and then may what we have to select the above face scale down okay here we have to change to the individual origin and then make s and scale down little bit almost like this one okay it's going good and now what we have to do tab hide this object now select this jump into the edit mode apply the loop cuts on this one then apply the uh, okay then gg apply on this side press e so it will fill according to our need same thing control r and press e and then f so it will just get the shape about the nearest loop okay good same thing we have to do with over here control r take it on this side press e and f so it will take the shape on this side same we have to do it over here e and f done one more loop cut we need to apply so just select this and then press control b and leave it like this one okay now you can see that so let's press alt and h so now you can see that we have almost ready now i want to make something changes over here so let's press tab select this object press tab and what i will do i will just press the select this and control shift and then press i to insert a little bit it a bit more and then extrude a little bit up okay so you can see that we have a beautiful shape in below also below side also now i want to create one more outer frame over here which can be look good so let's select this apply the loop cut over here and then press control b over here okay and then what we have to do just select shift d so it can be duplicated and then p and apply the selection tab let's select this one again come out alt e and sorry just press a then alt e extrude faces along normal click at again not much more but a little bit and then offset e1 also for this one so it's looking good and now you can see that our first aid box is almost ready guys i hope you like this tutorial this is really really very simple tutorial but you can see that with the help of the scaling and <coughs> moving the shape or positioning we are getting such kind of amazing shape let me show you by applying some kind of mat cap on this one so let me choose the mat cap over here this time let's choose this mat cap over there and let's apply some kind of shadow and cavity on this one So let's jump over here on the shadow little bit. Let's apply something like over here. Let's make a cavity little bit on over here, and let me do something like this one. Okay, good. So now you can see that this uh, first aid kit is looking amazing. So I hope you like this tutorial, guys. Uh, do the click on the subscribe button. Share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues. Also. click on to the bell icon so you will get the notification about upcoming tutorials and also comment how uh, you uh, how much you learn from my tutorials and do you like it or not just mention in the comment and whatever you are going to create with the help of these tips let uh, just share with me my social media links are mentioned below thank you very much stay safe and enjoy your day goodbye